Harry stood in the doorframe, wearing nothing but knee-high stockings. Are you ready for this? Harry whispers, just loud enough for the president to hear. What if Michelle finds out? Barack said. Don't worry, she's out at the minute. Harry panted. He wanted the president so much he could barely wait. Harry Styles and Obama. Obama. Obama is what you would call a crack ship, a pairing with absolutely no basis in canon, or in this case, I guess, reality, indulged in by fans specifically because it is funny. But why Obama? Do you have the answers, my baby boy? Do you, do you have the answers? Why Obama? And why can't we seem to be rid of it? Because we were Obama posting back on Tumblr and Twitter in Yield 2014, and now the youths are Obama TikToking. Most of the 73 fics on AO3 tagged with Harry Styles Obama have been written in the past couple of years. There was maybe a slight dip in popularity around like 2018 to 2020, but otherwise Obama has been consistently like the slow burn meme of the past 10 years. So today we're gonna take a look behind the crunchy photo edits and the bad Wattpad smut and see what is going on here. But first, how are you smelling today? Because I personally am smelling pretty delectable. Scent is an incredible avenue of self-expression, which today's sponsor Scentbird introduced me to. Because I work from home and I don't really use perfume daily, I find they last me a pretty long time. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I sniff them, I go, and I sniff them, and <laughs> I sniff them. I sniff them and I figure out what sort of a mood I want to go for that day. Today I'm wearing Rosario by House of Beau, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's kind of bright and citrusy, but with these more floral, botanical, complicated notes to it as well. Another one of my favorites is Sintra. It's really kind of intense and unique. I love the bergamot and sandalwood in it. Another one of my favorites is Capri Summer. It's just really nice and citrusy and you can't go wrong with it. As you can see, they're not little baby sample bottles. They really give you a full month supply. You get to try things out, learn what you like before committing to a large and potentially expensive bottle. Because nice bottles of perfume can cost in like the hundreds of dollars. And Scentbird lets you try out perfumes from those same expensive bottles for just $17 a month. If you already know what you're looking for, you can choose exactly what you want from their selection. Or if you're maybe looking for some suggestions, they have a quiz that'll help match you up with all kinds of cool scents you may never have heard of before. You can use code STRANGE55 to get 55% off your first month. That way it'll only be about $8 for your first month. So go check it out, and now I return you to your regularly scheduled content. It all started in 2014 when this tabloid cover was posted to Twitter. Obama had an affair with this man? This is the original cover. The version with Harry Styles on it is Photoshop. Not that it really matters all that much. The National Enquirer is not exactly a reputable publication. Their whole thing is making up weird stories about celebrities. So it wasn't like anybody was at risk of believing this because it was on the cover. Like nobody looked at this and was like, oh gee, wait, really? Whoa, that's crazy. But somehow it was just the most perfect, the, the perfect amount absurd to capture people's imagination. President Barack Obama sexting boy band member Harry Styles. Y'all keep criticizing this post because it makes no sense because Obama is using a landline. Obama's love is so strong it defies the laws of physics, logic, and technology. Let them live. Okay, daddy. Hashtag Obama. Wow, they're even on the cover of Vogue. A forbidden love. A Obama playlist. We find love in unexpected places. Harry Styles found it in the White House. This is the story of the romantic affair between a pop sensation and the President of the United States. Songs about secrets, reckless passion, and the American dream. My mom is a middle school teacher and this was on a project that a student turned in. Fun facts! All presidents have been male. Some people believe that President Obama is a homosexual and that he had an affair with the One Direction singer Harry Styles. <laughs> Who would believe this? All of those posts I just showed you were from my my deep dive, where I was looking for like the oldest Obama posts I could find from like 2014, 2015. But this post, this post is from like three months ago and criminally has only six notes. You see, Obama is more than just a meme. There's lore. There is a loosely agreed upon canon to this, this relationship between Harry Styles and Obama. Usually it involves Harry stealing Obama from Michelle or Obama stealing Harry from Louis Tomlinson. Their romance is always forbidden. They're star-crossed lovers. There's angst, there's pining, secrets, change of hearts, a Obama fanfiction, Harry and Obama meet and fall in love. Barack Obama's world comes crashing down when Harry Styles publicly denies their relationship, packed full of wondrous linguistic techniques and Taylor Swift references. This fic is sure to break your heart and mend it within four succulent chapters. Oh, succulent chapters, you say? Barack Obama kidnaps a baby to try and heal his broken marriage with Harry Styles. Obama and Harry Styles get locked in an abandoned question mark asylum during their secret date? 
president of USA, One Direction member, what could they have in common? Their love for men, of course, but also their love for watermelon and music. How does that cause them to bond? And how will that play a part in their painful ending? It's been three years since they spent one night together. Three years since Barack stopped thinking about anything other than Harry Styles. Now they are reunited. Sometimes flings should stay as that. Flings. Everyone could affirm his life was perfect, living the best of it, but nothing is as perfect as it seems to the public. He was pregnant. I'm not a cannibal, Harry breathed out, a bit offended that Barack would suggest such a thing. Aren't you, though? You're my little tomato eating another tomato. Is that not the definition of cannibalism? Eating the flesh of your own species, I mean? What? The first witness brought forth by the prosecution was an older man, a vampire hunter from America on vacation with his lover, Harry Styles. It was former U.S. President Barack Obama, looking as handsome as ever, and dressed for court in his nicest tan suit. Mr. Obama, vampire hunter, sir, what did you see the night of the blood festival? But we cannot discuss Obama without discussing Larry. Full name, Larry Stylinson, the ship name for Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson. The most popular ship in the One Direction fandom. And when we talk about social media-based fandoms, specifically social media-based fandoms, and their tendency to get into conspiratorial thinking, to cross boundaries and get disrespectful towards the celebrities that they are supposedly fans of, Larry is like ground zero for all of that stuff. Put simply, it is the idea that Harry and Louie are secretly in a romantic relationship and every public relationship they have ever been in with women is a cover-up. There are varying theories um, about exactly how long they've been together. A popular idea is that they have been married since 2013, I think it is. Larry is a theory as old as One Direction fandom itself. People started noticing the chemistry between this, these two very early into the band's formation. But by around 2014, 2015, it was tearing the fandom apart. Believers regularly harassed the One Direction boys and confronted them with their theories, harassed their girlfriends, their families and friends, their girlfriends' families and friends. Louis and Harry were obviously very uncomfortable with all of this theorizing. As the two became more guarded about their interactions, the fandom's divisions became more bitter. Yeah, that's right, I read a book about this. And Larry Stylinson took on another common element of internet conspiracy theories. Symbolism became key, and any direct contradictory evidence could be subordinated to it. The denials were not denials, but messages to watchful fans, and they should start paying closer attention to the things that could not be read by anyone other than them. Most notably, a series of apparently matching tattoos. Styles got a tattoo of a ship shortly before Tomlinson got a tattoo of a compass. Tomlinson got one of a piece of rope, Styles got one of an anchor. When Harry got a tattoo of a rose, the fandom speculated as to whether Louis would get one of a dagger to complete the common tattoo design with the supposed connotations of tragic love. When he did get a dagger tattoo in November of 2014, it proved them right. It got easier to see why it might be better to ignore Tomlinson's public denials, which were so flat and boring and crude, in favor of a subtext that was rich and interesting and romantic. In September 2012, Tomlinson's frustration with the harassment of his then-girlfriend, Eleanor Calder, culminated in an event referred to as the bullshit tweet. The full tweet, posted by Tomlinson, reads, How's this? Larry is the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. I'm happy. Why can't you accept that? To Antis, it was enraging, proof of what they'd feared, that the shippers had gone too far. To Larry's, it meant that the real Louis Tomlinson was not in charge of his Twitter account, and that someone else was tweeting for him. The most egregious instance of the fandom's conspiratorial thinking, um, according to that same book that I just quoted, was referred to as Babygate, in which Larry's denied the existence of Louis Tomlinson's girlfriend's pregnancy, that she was faking being pregnant, and then continued to deny the existence of the baby for like the first year of its life. She's totally, she's carrying around a fake doll. She's carrying a baby doll around because um, the music industry is just so homophobic. So on one side you had the Larry's and on the other side the non-believing fans, the antis, who saw picking people's lives apart in this conspiratorial way to be not only kind of really weird and disrespectful, but also potentially harmful to the relationship between the band and their fans. Even the band members' relationships with each other, because Harry and Louis, who had originally had a lot of chemistry that fans latched onto, started being really guarded about their public interactions. So, 
Obama? Yeah, that's right. Sorry if you forgot this video is, is still about Obama. Obama is the most interesting to me as a commentary on Larry and this type of shipping. Harry, um, you have to deal with some really ludicrous stories, but perhaps the best one ever has been about you and Obama today. How do you feel about that? What's this? I, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> the front page of the National Choir says that Obama is having a secret affair with you. Right. Whoa! <laughs> you had a sexual relationship with Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're wavering, aren't you? Define Legally not allowed yeah. to say. As one Tumblr user helpfully points out, no one has ever publicly denied Obama. Obama fans regularly use the phrase, Obama is real, uh, which is a parody of the very popular slogan, Larry is real. I wouldn't say that Obama is a mean-spirited mockery of Larry, exactly. It isn't. But it's just, it feels aware of the genre that it comes from. You know what I mean? Harry's secret Leo sign tattoo? Harry was born on February 1st, 1994, which makes him an Aquarius. This tattoo represents his zodiac sign. He has another tattoo right next to the Aquarius one. Officially, it's a tribute to Los Angeles' Shamrock Social Club tattoo parlor, where he got most of his tattoos. But if you look closely, isn't that the Leo symbol? So he got a secret tattoo for someone. None of his bandmates is a Leo. His parents or his sister aren't one either. And it looks like a couple tattoo to me. Maybe his boyfriend then? Oh my God, Barack Obama put a Harry Styles song on his favorite songs of 2017 list. Obama confirmed. Boyfriends sharing sunglasses. Not to alarm anyone, but Harry has an eagle tat, which means he loves America. And also he has a Bible tattoo. And I DK if y'all know this, but when the president gets sworn in, they put their hand on a Bible. And honestly, not to be a dark Obama stan, but Obama is the current president of the United States. Post made in 2015, simpler times. Harry was in DC today. Obama lives in DC. Obama is real. I bet Harry got that eagle tattoo because the presidential seal has an eagle on it. Obama is real, you guys. I want to propose that maybe Obama was kind of good for the fandom ecosystem and not necessarily even just the One Direction fandom specifically because there's lots of fandoms that have similar problems. Obama was a good reminder to laugh because Larry could be a genuinely really divisive thing in the fandom. Like it, people got tense about Larry. Obama is this outlet which fulfills the same kind of social need, but without the potential toxicity of like serious real person ships. People are clawing each other's throats out about whether Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson are secretly married, but actually that everybody knows that Harry is actually secretly dating the former president of the United States, Barack Obama, and we're having just as much fun photoshopping little hearts around them instead. So the amount of edits of them out there and many purposely bad edits. It's insane. And now in the past couple of years, TikTok has provided a whole new medium for those edits and people are going crazy over there too. One thing that definitely fueled the Obama resurgence recently was the discovery, the supposed discovery of um, letters he wrote to his college girlfriend in the 80s containing such quotes as, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination and my mind is androgynous. I remember when this happened and um, people posting about it on Tumblr as if it was true. Um, looking into it now, it seems about as reputable as the original Obama had sex with this man tabloid cover. Some guy who wrote a biography about him is like, oh, the letters are totally real. Uh, my friend saw them and transcribed them for me, but you can't see them. So we'll probably never know if Obama really has an androgynous mind. Regardless, it seems like a lot of people took this this news story as an opportunity to get nostalgic about their favorite gay Obama pairing. And arguably it's more popular now than it ever has been. Like in my deep dives, looking back, like the amount of Obama posting just keeps increasing over time. Like if you look at AO3, the majority of fics tagged with Harry Styles Obama have been written like this year or last year. Obama is definitely on track to be like the most popular ship of all of fandom of 2035. So brace yourself for that. The year 2035, we're all gonna log on to whatever horrid websites we're using then because God, I hope it's not the same ones we have now. Um, and it's all just gonna be Obama. Put it in your calendars. And before I go, a reminder to check out this video sponsor, Scentbird. You can use code STRANGE55 to get 55% off your first month. Good night, my friends. I will see you in another video very soon.